Hello everyone, my name is J.S. Matthews and we are back with a little more Faster Than Light. Last episode we left off, we have a pretty solid run going here. Our supplies and our health are looking really good. We got shields upgraded to level 2, which is fantastic. We're still stuck with our base weapons. I had to pass up a flak 1 and a burst laser mark 2, a second one, which would have been awesome to have two of those running. But you know what, right now we're looking okay. Everything's going well. Just gotta, gotta take what we get. Let's go ahead and continue on here. So we got a new civilian sector. We got our quest up here that we need to do eventually. I could start heading this way and then make our way over to the quest. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to go this way, maybe into the nebula, up to the quest. We'll try to bounce around between these because again, these nebulas do slow down the pursuing fleet so we get more jumps in and that's really what I want. I want to try to get as much scrap as I can and I want to try to get as many, uh, as many jumps in as I can each sector. So let's continue on here. Let's see what we got. Sweet pirates. And especially while a pirate ship approaches you, hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free. We could draw straws or we could not. Yeah, that sounds like a better idea. We'll never surrender to slavers. All right, let's get our burst laser going here on there. I don't think this can actually get through our shields because they both only fire one shot, I think. I think, we'll see. Uh, this is a whole laser, I think, Mark One, and that's just a burst laser Mark One. yep. So even if they hit twice, they can't get through our shields. We're fine, except for when we miss every single shot. That's great. I'm gonna save my missiles here just because I might need them in another battle. Man, I wish I could actually dodge something. Come on, Bruce Banner. That's why I have you. You're better at fight. That that figures. Bruce Banner is better at fighting than working on the engines. Yeah, that that makes sense. All right, come on, let's hit him again. Nice. Okay, keep those shields down. We don't have to worry about the weapons. We're good. Our shields recharge fast enough. I do wish I had a crew member in shields right now. That'd be great. This would be great for leveling up their shields. Hey, look at that. Let's do it. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. That's going to be worth it. I'm going to take him. So we've got a new crew member here. All of our crew members here are uh, humans, except for now we got this new guy here, Zemu. And we're going to throw him into shields. I would like that. But this rock crew member, very different from the humans. As you can tell, if I highlight over Stark here, he's got 100 health. But rock... The rock guys, they got 150 health, but they move significantly slower, but they're also immune to fire. So if we ever get a fire on our ship, this is going to be the guy we're going to use to put it out. Pretty effective at that. Too bad I couldn't name him Bruce Banner, because uh, he'd make a better Hulk than, than the little human guy, but we're good. We're good. All right, let's start jumping. I'm going to head around this way, try to make it here, and then do our quest. Let's go ahead and keep going here. We're looking good on fuel, looking great on missiles. That's really good. And especially while on pirate ship approaches you. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Maybe we can get another guy and I'm not sure where I'd put him. I guess I could put him in sensors. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fire a burst laser again at their shields. They have two, two lasers, only fire one each. So we don't need to use a missile again. We'll keep saving those. They're gonna be important. We may have a couple, you know, fights where we're gonna need those. But this is why it was important to get our, get our shields up to that second level. Because now we can basically just sit back, pound them with our lasers, and I don't have to waste any of my missiles. That saves us a lot of scrap in the future because I'm not going to be buying as many. And if we have any tough battles, we can just keep them going and just keep firing. Don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's hit these shields again, hopefully. Take them down. Man, we're missing so many times. Tony Stark is not as accurate as he should be. Disappointing. So we're starting to see his shields level up. I don't know if I mentioned that last episode. Each of these guys have skills. So depending on what they do, they gain skills. They gain levels in their little skills here. So weapons charging 10% faster. I think you can get it up to like 20% faster, which is really great. But let's go ahead and finish these guys off. Good and slow. <coughs> But yeah, we're looking pretty good other than missing every single shot. Holy cow. Let's hit these let's hit these shields and finish these guys off. Again, this is okay. I'm not too worried about this because again, if you notice his shield upgrade is coming faster. I think I'm going to accept this offer again. I know I'm missing out on some scrap, but getting a Mantis crewmate and a Rock crewmate is fantastic. So if we ever get a crew teleporter, these two guys could be pretty strong teleporting them onto uh, another another ship. Especially the Mantis. Mantis, 
Again, each of these alien races and stuff have different special abilities. So humans gain their, their skills faster. The rock guys have more health and move slower, but are immune to fire. Mantis can attack and hit harder than any other race, but they repair 15% slower, I think. So if we ever get damaged, he's not going to be great at repairing things. All right, let's go ahead and continue jumping around here. Got a couple. We do have a store. Eh, I don't want to go down to it. I don't have enough scrap. <laughs> I got two scrap. I can repair one single thing. All right, scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. We've had this one before. We did well. I have a feeling it's not going to go well this time, but we're going to try it anyways. Yep, five damage and nothing else. That's, oh, yikes. Okay, let's get you in there to take out this fire. Let's put a, we'll have to put a point into that when it's done. <laughs> that was disappointing. Man, five damage. That was, that was basically a huge waste. Come on, get the fire out. You're going to die. Oh my gosh. Hurry up and put the fire out. There we go. All right, I'm going to take a power... Uh, I'm going to move one of our power bars out of here into the med bay and help... Uh, help... Who is this? Who is this guy? Magmar. <laughs> help Magmar get uh, get back. I wish I could name him Wolverine. That would be perfect. Wolverine, Hulk. We could have Hulk and Bruce Banner at the same time. That'd be kind of funny. I should have named him Thor. That's what it should have been. We should have gotten Thor. Um, I don't think you can rename these. I don't think you can. No, that's okay. All right, we're going to save our current crew positions again. And we're going to go ahead and jump. We have another store up here, which is great, but uh, I would rather jump here and into the nebula and go to our quest. And then maybe we'll jump back there if we get any scrap. Jeez, get nothing this time. All right, once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational. All right, so we missed... Mr. Willis, they do have hacking. That's a pain. I definitely don't like hacking. We might have to launch a missile here. Yeah, they're definitely... Oof. Oof. 10% chance to dodge a missile. That's disappointing. So we're going to take damage here. Yeah, right the engines again. <laughs> yeah, all right. You get over here and help him out. Go ahead. Oh, jeez. I didn't even heal him up. Oh, I can't get him in there. Okay, never mind. Let's keep hitting their hitting their weapons though. We're good to go. Just pound them with that laser. And we should be good. So we'll get get our engines repaired here. He'll get his repair skill up. That's really good. Yep, there we go. Nice. More hacking. <laughs> I am gonna take uh, the point out of the Artemis and power this up and just get him healed. We don't have anything to worry about right now. If I have to launch another missile, I will. But he's healed. So yeah, if we have to launch another missile, we'll be good. But it looks like we got a fire going in there, if you noticed. Cool. Talking about, wow, 26 scrap and 3 fuel. I will definitely take that. Very nice. Very, very nice. If we can get up a little more, we'll be even better. All right, we're going to go here. Lots of distress. Lots of, lots of stuff up here. I don't think we're going to be able to make it to that store. A little disappointing. That's okay. All right, this drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. All right, so they have a drone here. That's pretty brutal. Drones, uh, well, that's not too bad. I have the two levels of shields. If I didn't, that could be really bad. These combat drones basically fire around and just attack your shields constantly. I do want to take out this missile launcher as fast as I can. So we'll wait here and see if... If our burst laser can take it out. Ah, right in our shields. That's bad. Ah, oh, and I missed. So that's disappointing. He can go fast enough to hit us before the shield comes back up, which is kind of annoying. But we're good. Okay, we got it back up. We're looking fine now. Use the burst laser. Don't have to waste any more missiles. But yeah, missiles are great, except for when you miss. Man, when you miss, it's just a big waste. But this is good. We'll keep gaining levels as uh, with Zemu. That's good. That's the one thing it does do really well here. Is uh, just helps you upgrade your shields. Those combat drones do because they just keep keep hitting your shields over and over again. But yeah, we're gonna keep hitting this. Uh, uh, we gotta hit that missile launcher. Hopefully, yeah. There we go. And I wasted a missile. Oh well. <laughs> I didn't want to rely on my aim. That hasn't been very successful so far. Well, we wasted two missiles, but got two back. All right, cool. Uh, I am going to heal up uh, you and you real quick. We'll send these guys in there. 
Power up the med bay. Get them healed up and send them right back to where they need to be. And then we'll keep jumping along here. I think that's why I like this game so much is, again, it's a very simple game. And, you know, you run into the same instances sometimes, but they do change depending on what you have available for your ship and stuff. And I think that's why I really like it. Uh, it's I do like that roguelite aspect of it. Because it's sort of like one of those games that's easy to... Uh, it's easy to get into, but it's hard to master. All right, so you find a Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack them directly. <laughs> Let's bombard their key structures. Sweet. You fire at their fuel depot, but a shot from the surface rips the missile to shreds. Oh, they have planetary defense system set up already. You try to get away, but a nearby patrol moves into attack. Okay. Let's take them on, I guess. Get this burst laser going on their weapons. Okay, they are going to come in. Hopefully we can we can take them down. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to hit their... Are these level 2? No, they're just level 1s again, so they can't get through. We're good. I don't need, think I need to use a missile. Let's just let it go here. Where are they teleporting? Oh, he's teleporting in there. Let's get him over here. So we got a mantis of our own to take him on with. Nice, looking good. Yeah, see, we'll just gain... Get, get up our shields. That'll be fine. <laughs> there we go. Good. Get him back to the med bay. Take one point out of our shields and put it into the med bay. Let him heal up. We'll get Banner healed up as well, but... We'll wait on that. Actually, you know, let's just send him there right now. I don't care if I get hit. They can't get through my shields. So that's okay. So yeah, the sooner we get Zemu uh, up the better because then we can get shields recharging like 15% faster and even 20% faster which is really helpful for those combat drones but yeah let's go ahead and get him back to where he's supposed to be we got everybody healed looking good take the power back out put it into our engines just before our, in case I forget hit him with this last shot hopefully nope one more one more and he should be done Looking good. This is a good run so far. I'm liking this. Took a little bit of damage back there because of that stupid asteroid field, but that was my own fault. I knew that was going to happen. I took the risk. Probably shouldn't have, but... With the patrol ship destroyed, you hasten to leave. It won't be long before the other ships catch up. All right, 66 scrap. We're going to hit here and then maybe even hit the store. We'll see. If we can hit the store, we'll do it. Otherwise, we'll jump into those nebulas. Try to do some more jumps. Greetings, it's so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating here for weeks. We're terrified of pirates or those darn rebels, or that those darn rebels would find us. Could you spare some fuel? Let's do it. Let's give them some fuel. Why not? What do they give us? Ooh, a small bomb. Very nice. Thank the gods we can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it. Cool, so small bomb is good. Again, it uses missiles, so we, we have another uh, another ammunition. But, uh, yeah, they're very inaccurate, if I remember correctly. Though I feel like they miss quite often. But this could be good. We're going to upgrade our weapons anyway, so I might as well upgrade our weapons one and get it after we... Nope, see, the store is, is uh, taken. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. All right, we'll go to here, and we'll start jumping around this nebula as best we can and try to make it to the exit. We'll be good, but let's keep jumping here. I'll keep building up my scrap. Honestly, I'm tempted to invest in either... I'll probably invest in weapons just to get this up. If we need it, we can fire them both off and just really deal out some damage and then finish them off with a burst laser. But let's do it. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler. Let's do it. Move in to engage. All right, so the Ion, a bit of a pain. And they do have... Uh, Let's not fire this yet. I'm going to hit their shields first. And then we'll fire the laser. Try to take down their weapons. I don't like ion weapons. They annoy me. <laughs> but I have two levels of shields, which is good. So that's not too bad. There we go. Ah, missed. It's all right. All right. We'll leave that up. And now we can just hit them with the burst laser and the shields. Don't know why I paused there. <laughs> Should be good here. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, if you're a big fan of this game, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what your favorite ship is. If you haven't played this game before, I would definitely suggest picking it up. It's super cheap, and uh, it's very fun to play. Very fun game. Gaining those shields, that's good. I think we just had a level up somewhere, didn't we? Stark did, yep. So we're not going to accept their offer here. Um, I mean, three missiles is really good, but I kind of just want the scrap right now. 
So let's go for the scrap. Ooh, see, yeah, that was a little worrisome when they start getting through our shields like that. But, but yeah, so Stark leveled up. So now 15% faster our weapons charge, which is really helpful for the burst laser. We're going to get out more shots, which is really good. We'll just finish them off here. Yep, there we go. I don't want to deal with them. All right, so one more missile, 12 scrap. Eh, maybe we should have accepted it. That could have been better, I guess. Figured we'd get more scrap out of it. It's okay. All right, I'm going to jump this way. Stay in the nebula. If you notice, when I'm in the nebula, it's a shorter jump for them, which is really good. That's what I want. I want to try to get as many jumps in as possible. Sweet. Mantis ship lost in the storm hails you. Sensors are out. We have no local telemetry. We will take yours. You detect a power increase in their weapons system. All right. So we're going to hit their shields. And where did they teleport? Let's see. Oh, okay. He's in the med bay. I don't really need to worry about my missile right now. Just power that down, power that up. Let uh, let Magmar take him out. That med bay strategy is so great. I love it. There we go. Good. Looking good. Hit him again with this laser. Hopefully keep their, uh, their shields down. Power back up our missile launcher just in case we need it. Don't think we will. <clears throat> but yeah, we should be good here. Hopefully. I've been up since like 3 o'clock in the morning. Some mornings I just wake up and I just can't fall asleep. I feel I, I don't know if anybody else says that. I just wake up and I'm like, alright, well, guess I'm up for the day. <laughs> so got my coffee, playing a little faster than light. This is a good morning. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Awesome. 99 scrap. Looking good. Hopefully we can find a store coming up here. That would be nice. We're going to continue to jump through this nebula. And I could upgrade my weapons to get this small bomb going, but again, it uses my ammunition, and... I mean, it's good, but... Eh, we'll see. Alright, you notice a Mantis attack ship ducking between the clouds. Let's do it. Alright, so this time we are going to hit their lasers, but we are going to hit one... One missile at their shields. What are they attacking? My doors. Alright, we'll send you into the doors. And you know what? I'm going to send you in there just to help a little bit. Just to pound them down a little bit here. Yeah, good. Yep. Took their weapons down. Not too worried. Now we'll get you back in. Alright. We're going to heal you two up real quick. I don't need the missiles up now. Looking good. Finish them off here. And we'll be alright. Let's pull that out again. Managing your power is a big thing. Because at the beginning, you know, you're not going to have an infinite amount. So you got to kind of pull and pull it out and put it wherever you want it. The ship explodes leaving behind some scrap. Alright, 160 scrap and we got a store. That is very good. Let's do it. Hopefully we can get something good here. Maybe I'll sell that small bomb and grab something else. Uh, no. Stealth weapons would be great if we had stealth, but we don't. Backup DNA distraction buoy, buoy gives us one jump. Leaves a false signal at sector start to delay the rebels one jump. Could be good over over time. Nah. I'm going to fix a little bit here. I don't really need to buy any fuel. Don't really need to buy any missiles. Let's fix ourselves up. Let me see what I want to do with my ship now. Could upgrade my weapons, because I'm, I'm eventually going to want that. So I think I'll do it. But how much do I need? I need 100 for the shields plus... So I need 150 to upgrade my shields to the next round. Let's go ahead and buy one in our weapons. And we'll save our scrap and see if we can get level 3 shields. That might be helpful. I might upgrade my engines, actually. Let's do it. We're going to upgrade our engines, put the power in there. We've got 31 scrap left. I might just hang on to that. Let's jump up here to this nebula. And we might just head for the exit. Well, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, we'll have to head for the exit, I think. That's okay, we got a lot of good jumps in, got some scrap, got our ship upgraded, we're looking okay. And the one of the main reasons why I upgraded this is if we take one damage to our weapons, it's now going to take up the empty spot and not actually take down one of my weapons. That'll actually be helpful. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. It starts powering up its FDL drive. Alright, so we're going to hit its drive here. And if we can't, we're going to try to take this out. Hopefully don't take out my shields, don't take out my shields. Okay, O2. Ah, eh, whatever. 
That is kind of a bummer. We start suffocating. There we go. Oh, I meant to hit their... Oh, shoot. I meant to hit... That was dumb. I meant to hit their engines. Oh, that was not good. Hit their engines. Hit their engines. Hurry. Come on. Please hit the engines, please. And a missed, of course. Okay, good. Whew. So now we delayed their FTL drive. They can't get away. Because that can be a big issue. Because they can warn the fleet where we are and they get an extra jump. We gotta take this down before they uh, suffocate us. Let's just use a missile. Alright. We're good. Not bad. Alright, so ship breaks apart. Feel relief and knowledge that you will hopefully still stay one step ahead of the fleet. Alright, we'll let our oxygen go back up here. <laughs> for a minute. Looking good, though. We're still looking good. I need to keep keep an eye on my missiles. I'm, I'm using a few too many there. But that's okay. I do need to go to the exit. If I don't, the next jump is going to overtake it. So I can't go up here. It's a little disappointing. That store was a bummer. I really wish I could have had that flak one. That would have been great. Having a flak and a uh, burst laser mark two would be pretty, pretty good at this point. So let's jump to the exit here. Probably should have let my oxygen go up a little more, but that's okay. You've arrived at the long-range beacon when the FTL drive is charged. We can jump to the next sector. Your sensors have picked up a refugee shift drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. Doesn't appear to have detected you. Let's hail them. I was going to say, I figured a pirate will come. Yep, as you hail the freighter, it advances weapons... Or as you hail the freighter, it advances weapons bristling from its hull. Oh, it's a pirate ambush. Yep, okay. So, let's go ahead and hit them in their weapons so that's a burst laser mark one i think it is i think that fires two shots if i'm correct it should yep so it does fire three fires two see that's why i upgraded the engines get those misses the bombs don't do any damage that's good just keep pounding their weapons hopefully we'll be all right here nice all right we could get two missiles out of it and 12 scrap and 4 fuel. Let's do it. Let's accept their surrender. I would like to keep my fuel and my missiles up. We're looking good. And we are going to jump to the next sector. Good good decision we made there. So we can pick an uncharted nebula or an abandoned sector. I think I want to do the abandoned sector. I really... Yeah, I don't like the, the nebulas. The abandoned sectors are interesting. Those are added in the advanced edition. We might be able to get a Lanius... Uh, alien to to join our crew to be pretty cool they're they're a cool little alien group so there have been a number of reports of advanced ships salvaging the wrecks and abandoning or in abandoned mining facilities in this sector could it be that the lanius have resurfaced cool all right i'm debating if i want to end this episode here just kind of do each each sector as an episode i think we'll do that we'll call it right here actually this was a bit of a shorter episode wasn't it this was a bit of a shorter one. Yeah, you know what? We're going to call it here. That's okay. We'll do we'll do each sector as an episode. That'll help me help me stay a little more organized. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you're having fun traveling through the the uh, the cosmos with me and our wonderful crew of the Avenger. Anyways, if you do want to support my channel, feel free to check out my books on Amazon. I would love to see what you guys think. I would love to get some more reviews and hear what you all think of my stories again one of the big reasons why i'm doing this channel is to try to get my name out there as an author as a self-published author it's a little hard to, to do marketing especially if you don't have much money like me uh, i am a teacher so unfortunately my my cash reserves are not uh of the highest level let's put it that way <laughs> especially with three kids so uh, anyways hope you guys are enjoying this i'm having a blast sharing this with you so leave a comment uh, maybe even subscribe and check out my book talk videos while I, where I talk about my stories and what I'm doing in the future and me as an author. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, spending some time watching my video and I hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.